It's time! All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Mumbai, India, the executioner. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it was just to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who's going to do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury. It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. But fighting guys that are taller, you struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage. This guy is going to try and use this tonight. Beautiful body. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. He's 
back to the push position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head. To the oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, big head kick lands. Lands the right hand. They continue to exchange. Oh, is that a good knee for the body there by Lee? Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big kick land. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Try to establish that jab. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, single collar tie here. You don't know when that leg keeps coming. Big punch land. Ooh. He is all about that left kick to the body. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, man, you can hear it. Bone on bone. Nice elbow land. And he landed the right hand there. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Lee's overhand punch to the head doesn't get to the target. He telegraphed that one, and it gets blocked. Real nice body kick land. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. And he continues to work the body here. There's no give on that leg kick. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. All right, single collar time now. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. That was a nice strike. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Back and forth we go. Well, he has stayed technical, but he is really starting to chew up the opposition now. He came out super aggressive, as aggressive really as we've ever seen him in the UFC, and now starting to uptick the volume again. Nice start here in round one. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. And they clinch once again. That knee might have landed there. Well, we know knees to be some of the most destructive strikes in MMA, and he's got that part of his game going tonight. He has got the knees going. He's throwing them in bunches. That knee might have landed there. So a combination of knees here. You don't see this all the time where a fighter will, will throw multiple knees, but if it's not broken, they'll fix it. There's no takedown threat. If there was a takedown threat, he would not be throwing so many knees. But there's no threat of getting taken down, so he is just letting those knees fly. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Lee gets the tie clinch here. 
Paul landed another strike to his opponent's liver. He continues to target that area and looks to buckle him once again. Straight right hand now just misses. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Beautiful leg kick throw. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. It's messed up really bad. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Lee gets hit with a kick. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Big punch to the clinch. Good work blocking the knee. Oh, no! Some real power shots here. Man! Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his leg in that situation. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. That right hand hurt him a little bit. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Counters with the left hook. Nicely done there. And he caught the kick. Oh, that's a good right hand. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, huge block. What a body kick. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Right under the elbow, body kick lands. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Now connects with a right. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, collar tie. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Big power punch. What a fight so far. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot.
no glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Nice strike. Got the single collar tie. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. There. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh, nice high kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Man, look at his torso. That just can't feel good. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. And you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that area. Boy, Ty Plum. And they separate. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Nice head kick. Three minutes to go in round three. Great punch. Shot to the body there. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Single collar tie now. Nice punch lands over the top. It's the elbow there. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, getting fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's gonna be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? And they separate. Big body. Oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight. And it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight night. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Continue. He didn't like that left hand. He's got him hurt here. Boy, Ty Plum. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Seconds left. 
All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie, and they separate. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Tags him with the left hand. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. Archer, there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take any more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Beautiful kick. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Back and forth we go. Continues to work out of that tight clinch. Lee going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Oh, and he caught the kick. Going orthodox now. Effective punch there by Lee. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, You've man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very shortly. Check yourself before you. Oh, do hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Just missed on that spinning attack. Both guys landing with conviction now. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. A oh, little single collar tie there. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Nice punch, man, over the top. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, and he caught the kick. Head kick. with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. And they separate. Great punch landed with so much power. Well done to catch the kick, we'll see what he can do. Oh, and he counters effectively with a jab upstairs there, DC. I know you don't often have the reach advantage. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Trying to stay in this fight! Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow up. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Oh, he hurt him bad with a jab. Ooh, what a punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Again, they clinch. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, big knee! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Nice liver shot, man. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press 
Anderson. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Huge right hand! He's hurt. Serves him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Went for the inside leg kick. Nice punch there. Steady. 20 seconds left. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. So have we, your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 58 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.